Hey guys, Jake from State Fun here. Today we're going to be working on the John Deere Gator 6x4. We've got the metal to work on the roof here, and we've got the L brackets, L -brackets to uh, mount these cup holders more permanently. So let's get started. All right, so we got the metal on top here. Uh, we're going to plan to bend it on the side, give it a two inch drop, two inch drop on the back and the other side, and then uh, about a 45 degree angle. Uh, it's going to be about three inches length on the uh, on the front section here, just to mate up nice with the uh, two inch sides. Uh, I'm going to do a couple practice cuts and welds on a piece of scrap that I've got. So uh, let's get to it. So we've got a scrap piece of metal metal here. Hey, doggos. <laughs> got a scrap piece of metal here. We're gonna try testing the uh, the bending process and the cutting process. As soon as I get done playing with the doggos. All right, all right, choo choo. All right, so for the bending process, I'm kind of thinking I'll try and um, kind of create a nice straight bend right along this side here and I'm using such a long board because uh, the bends on the other side are going to be much longer. So I'm going to clamp this down. I should probably, now that I think about it, I should probably do a more reasonable amount of a smaller amount like what I will be dealing with soon so I have a little bit better idea. There's about what the front one's gonna be. Let's practice with the small small bend because it's probably gonna be the most difficult. Let's see. Two inches, two inches. Yep, okay. bracing under this edge here. I'm going to be beating on it with a hammer. two inches. All right. And that's probably how we'll do the uh, the bends on the actual piece. That's not too bad. Granted, all I'm doing is a short uh, short corner cut on the uh, my actual piece. So a five inch offset from where I want the cut itself to be. Let's see. Let's go with the two inch. Just make that it's just an angle bar at that point. So five inches from there should give me a good angle piece to go off of. Brace piece, whatever you want to call it. That's how well the cut goes. All right, so the circ saw was not making a very nice cut here. 
not a fan of it. So we're gonna go with a Sawzall using a bimetal blade. And I'm not being perfect about this cut because it's more of a how does it look when it's done, not necessarily is it pretty. How does the cut look, not how straight is it. A lot faster work, that's for sure. Now with the flap disc, we can take that edge off. It'll look nice and neat. Okay. I think I got a pretty good idea of where, how I want to cut and cut and bend hammers. That's all the house. So for the roof, we're planning on having a uh, two inch drop on the sides, each side and then a two inch drop on the back and roughly a two and three quarter, three inch drop on the front at a 45 degree angle. Each of the sides in the rear are gonna be a 90 degree. So right now I'm gonna measure off a two inch uh, from the side here and mark out the small square that needs to be cut out on these two corners here. So with a 90 degree then you can create a complete square here that you'll cut out to so that when these bend straight down the corners will match up nicely. And this will probably be easier to mark out on the back side where it's flat instead of on this diamond plate side. So the front half of this, you have to create, if you're going to bend a 45 degree angle, you have to cut a 45 degree triangle. So you cut out, cut out a triangle here of uh, material so that the front angle when bent down at a 90 is at a 45 downward so that you bend the front uh, piece down, it'll meet up nicely. So I'm gonna try and Measure that out. Do a two and three quarter inch drop on the front. Uh, let's see, calculations were 2.82 inches. What's 2.82 over three quarter? 41 fiftieths is what that reduces down to. Uh, so seven eighths is 0.875. I think that's probably close enough. It'll have a little bit of a drop down or a little bit of a lip on the front, but that'll be okay. Let's see, so we know I need to cut two inches on the front section, all the way back for say two and seven eighths. Okay, and then the section that we will be cutting out is actually the angular between this edge and that corner, so. Right on the outside of this line, so this area goes away, this area goes away, this area goes away, and let's measure out this area over here. All right, guys. So, for the calculation or from for the uh, for the cut here, I measured two inches from this corner out to this line, and drew that line two and seven eighths inch back. Uh, that gave me a nice little square, and then I did a diagonal, uh, which would be 45 degrees from the tip of the plate to the uh, corner that I had just drawn. So this area here will actually be removed, so that when this front panel folds. Uh, bends down at a 45 degree angle and this whole section bends down at a 90 degree angle This will meet up with that edge and I can put a little uh, solder weld whatever it's called uh, on there 
Now on the rear here, since I'm doing a 90 degree angle on this corner and this corner, the entire section here is removed. And I'm doing a two inch drop on each side, so that's a two inch by two inch square. And I repeated those over on that other corner there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a uh, Sawzall here. I'm gonna cut out the sections as best I can. And then we will uh, trim them up with the flap disc. corners I did here. We uh, took a board underneath here and a board on top, clamped them down and just kind of hammered a hammered an angle into it. Turned out pretty good. So I don't know how to aluminum weld. I don't have a TIG and I'm not even that good at uh, steel welding. So I'm going to try these uh, aluminum basically solder wires. Uh, they're the Blue Demon Triple Play. Found them on Amazon, had some pretty good reviews, so let's see how it works. From what I understand, you, uh, you heat the metal up to above very hot temperature. Not really sure what the temperature is. And then you rub the rod against it to melt the rod and let it fill the, the crack or the hole. So, I'm gonna give this a try. Watch the YouTube video on it. So now I'm an expert, right? So I'm actually somewhat impressed at how decent that looks. That's not bad for the first one. I'm sure we can take a grinder and just uh, kind of smooth that off. I'm glad that uh, blob fell off and looks a lot better. Let's do the other corners. 
Um, from what I've learned on this, it seems to be best if you have as level of a playing field where you're placing this um, solder, because uh, when it gets hot and starts to run, it all just kind of pulls up at the lowest gravital, gravital point and uh, you can get blobs like you saw on the, uh, the other one there. All right, so those, uh, those aluminum solder weld things actually turned out fairly decent. I'm gonna take a grinder to them and just kind of clean up some of the some of the boogers. So I've got some roofing screws here. We're gonna drill a couple pilot holes, put a couple screws in, and then probably go for a test ride. Gonna prep this for paint a little bit. I'm gonna give it just a quick little scratch coat with some 80 grit uh, sandpaper, and hopefully that'll help the uh, the paint stick better. We're gonna go with a black truck bed coating, the Rust Oleum. Uh, just gives it a little bit of texture. That's what we did the uh, uh, supports for the for the windshield and the roof, the uh, roll cage piece. That's what I was looking for. Um, that's what we used for that. So. And do the same thing here, just kind of keep it similar, and we like the way it came out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this spray painted. Found this, uh, found this on Amazon, JD Green, uh, not to be confused with John Deere Green, but uh, we'll see how well, it, how well it matches. mostly dried so we're gonna get it put on the top and screw it down. So I've got a couple uh, little rubber grommets. I'm gonna use that kind of as a rubber spacer and then some short uh, sheet metal uh, metal roof screws because I have the uh, the gasket there to try and prevent as much water from getting in as we can. This side over here is, uh, it was easier once I got the front uh, lined up and sunk down. I was able to get the rear into place and make sure that the middle one also would go into the uh, into one of these roll bars. Uh, the middle one actually goes in at a little bit of an angle. So when I was first trying, I set the middle one in place and then I couldn't get the front and the rear to line up pr properly. So um, with what I've learned, this side should be a little bit easier. She's attached. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the project, give it a thumbs up down below. If you want to see more projects similar to this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, future projects coming up, we've got heated seats for the gator here, as well as the side paneling going around the, uh, the sides in the back to give us a little bit of heat insulation inside the cabin. Uh, other projects coming up, we've got a uh, 62 Chevrolet C20. We'll be doing 
a uh, frame swap on that, taking the body of the, the C20 and setting it on the frame of a first gen Cummins. So if you like those pro those, the idea of those projects, again, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and y'all have a good one.